Hello and welcome to this video. A couple of weeks back we did a video on how the Cinder app works really well at integrating eBay to QuickBooks Online. Now, if you think about it, that solved a lot of issues for a lot of people. But it got me thinking, what else can Cinder do? What else can we use that software for that's going to help clients and be able to make sure that we have even more integration and also making sure that we're getting better use out of the software that we're already paying for. And it got me thinking, what else can I use Cinder for? How else can I save time by using integration? It's going to help me and my client and make sure that you are also getting that same information. Well, I did a bit of digging and I saw the fact that it can also integrate with Stripe. And I don't know about you, but Stripe's becoming one of those solutions that you cannot ignore. It's become everywhere. So we're going to have a look and see how we can get Stripe and QuickBooks to integrate together using the Cinder app. Yeah. Hello and welcome to this video. As always, my name is Aaron Patrick. I'm a chartered accountant, certified UK trainer with Fancy New Logo, the QuickBooks chap on the internet, and also head of account over at Boffix. Now in this one, we've got a right little special one for you. The Cinder app. I know from the comments and from the information we got before, you guys are loving the idea of integration. Loving the fact that you can get one piece of data to talk to another piece of data and means you don't have to be involved in any of those chains. And when we saw that solution where we can get eBay and QuickBooks talking to one another, then what it really did was open up what else. And today we're answering that question. Now Stripe is one of those integrations you cannot ignore. If you think about it, it's become one of those ones where a lot of businesses are reliant on Stripe because it's such an attractive way to be able to accept payments online. But just like other payment integrations and gateways, there's always going to be fees involved and you need to make sure you're dealing with those fees correct in QuickBooks. Also, QuickBooks itself has already partnered up with PayPal to get a nice pay now button. Is there any way where we can get Stripe to be that pay now button by using Cinder? They're the questions we're going to ask today and we're going to have a look at them straight away. Let's get straight into there and have a look exactly how it works. Okay, first of all, how do I get myself a Cinder app? Well, you'll find the link is on the bottom of every single one of my videos. On the bottom of all my videos, including the last time I looked at Cinder, you'll notice this link just here. Clicking on that link will give my link tree and in there you'll see discounted QuickBooks license and other resources. From here, I've got loads of little options for you, but the one you're interested in is Cinder. Integration tool for QuickBooks Online for Stripe and eBay. As you can see here, you can start off with a completely free trial, and that's what we're going to do now. Then all you need to do is get yourself signed in. And the first step is you need to connect to your QuickBooks account. So you click on Connect to QuickBooks. Make sure you connect to your account. Then what you need to do is choose your payment platform. Now you can see there's all these available here. So you've got your eBay managed payments we looked at before. You've got Etsy, Go Cardless, which we use a lot, PayPal itself. But the one we're interested in today is Stripe. And then at that point, you need to connect to your Stripe account. So put your details into Stripe and you'll be given this particular option here. The standard configuration is used by 80% of our users. So that's going to be the most important part of it. Processing fees will be stored at Stripe fees category. Processing application fees will be stored in, and then you just need to. Now, I haven't set an account up for this yet, but I always find if you put to uncategorized expense for now, that prompts you to make that change later down the line. We can see applying taxes. We want to say that our sales zero rack code, we want to make sure we get that right, so put to zero percent. Process payment, and we want to transfer funds to our business bank account. We want to synchronize automatically ongoing transaction, apply payments to unpaid bills and invoices. I'm okay to start. Now this is it. The magic is about to get begin. Snyder is getting data from Stripe and syncing our latest trying to be a QuickBooks Online company to show you how it works. And this is where we find the most beneficial out of using Cinder. Because Cinder now has the ability to make it really easy for us to understand. Yes, there are options on the market, but we find Cinder's the one that gives it the most straightforward in terms of understanding what's going on. Let's have a look. Now we've got this ready to sync information, so we know we can see what's been synced. So now what it's doing is brought that data into QuickBooks. So now what it's doing is brought the data into the Cinder integration app. 
And now we can decide which ones we want to send to QuickBooks or not. For example, I might want this one here to be done, so I press ready to sync, and it then processes. For example, I want to look at this one, and it's going to take me directly there, showing me what transactions have come through. And it doesn't just take the transaction that I'm interested in. The important thing is it's also got that Stripe fee as well. Because think about what's important here. That although we've sold a transaction for, say, £420 in this case, that £420 isn't what's going to appear in my bank account. I'm actually going to get £407.62p because of the Stripe fees. But this is where Cinder really excels by actually dealing with all those Stripe fees by itself. Splitting down that transaction, not just into what's received, but also what's there. But what else can the Cinder app do for me? Well, the integration between what's happened is brilliant. And that's going to be one of our main uses for this app. But what if I had an invoice that I haven't yet received money for? Let's have a look at this. Well, in here, look, I've got this invoice to myself, Aaron Patrick. And I know here that I need to get money for this particular invoice. The problem is I don't want to receive this money just normally. I want to actually send this. And I can send this invoice from this dashboard with the ability for my end customer to pay via Stripe, all powered by the Cinder app. You can make payment links so that you can automatically get money paid into you via Stripe. And what I really like looking at is these rules. This is where you can really get that automation going forward. When you create rule, you can select a trigger. So for example, if an invoice is generated on QuickBooks, then you can select an action that's going to relate to what happened. So maybe you want to automatically give the opportunity to send that payment link. It even has a whole template list here. So here's some ideas of what you can bring in. So maybe you want it to say a thank you email for invoice payments. And this can be really powerful because if you're already receiving all your payments via Stripe, it can be an administration burden that you've got at the moment. That you're having to go out and generate that. Because if you think about it, if you're already receiving your payments by Stripe and that's your business model, you've already been setting it up so that you're getting your money paid over and everything else, then it could be an administration burden for you then to have to go in and send an invoice later down the line or a sales receipt later down the line to cover yourself from VAT and things like that. With the smart rules, though, you could make it that when you actually send money from Stripe, <clears throat> with smart rules, though, when you receive the money from Stripe, you could then automatically set QuickBooks to generate the invoice, send that invoice out for you without you having to spend that administration time to do it. This is where the integration gets really powerful. It's not just going to look at data that's already happened and try and replicate it in QuickBooks, but it's actually going to be smart enough to start actually trying to do things for you to help stop your burden. And that's when the value of Cinder really comes into play. So there we have it. Another look at the world of Cinder. As you can see, it's all about automation. And the options of how to automate and how to get the most out are pretty endless. And I feel like we've only just got this bare minimum of what's capable. I'm going to be spending more time with Cinder and I'm going to be coming back with more ways in which you can automate your practice or automate your company just by using software called Cinder. This is what I like about this solution. It's about thinking outside the box. It's about trying to find solutions that actually are going to make your life so much easier to run your business. And let's be honest, in this day and age, the more time we can spend actually trying to run our business and stop having to worry about administration duties, the better we're going to be. So having the ability to have Stripe and having QuickBooks connected is a godsend. Having that extra functionality that you can also send out payment links directly attributable to those invoices you've generated in QuickBooks can be a huge one. And creating those rules so that you can actually save administration time could be an absolute lifesaver for some business out there. I already know a few clients I'm going to be integrating this on straight away. And I think you should be thinking about it too. This is what it's all about. Getting those integrations together, finding ways where you can make sure that your business is ticking along. Remember what Boffix has to say in a situation like this. They want businesses to thrive, not just survive. And it sits... <clears throat> and it's solutions like Cinder that's going to help them get there. I'm really excited for what else we can find out with this one. So I'm going to be spending some more time trying to get integrations as good as possible. 
Let me know in the comments below, how are you gonna be using Cinder? Why not try using my link just below here to try it out for yourself? Have a go, see what you think to it, and let me know in the comments how it's helping your business. I'd love to hear. For me, this is the next stage in, the, in this channel. It's about trying to find ways in which we can take QuickBooks and take it to the next level. And I really do think a solution like Cinder helps with that. My name has been Aaron Patrick. As always, it's been a pleasure to do this video for you. I'm going to see you in that next video. Bye for now. I told him I can be a fighter if you want. I'll be there to catch you if you fall. I can make it brighter when it's dark. When it's dark. I told him I would do it all for you. And I know you do it for me too. I can be a fighter if you want. If you want. I can be a fighter. I can be a fighter. It's real, cause I can get him out of my head I don't care what we do, everything's really new Even if we're staying bad My heart is saying yeah, 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 yeah You know I want him now, 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 now My heart is saying yeah, 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 yeah Hello and thank you for watching that video. What you may not know is this channel that you've watched this video from is part of a wider group. That wider group is called Apple Core Production. And the three channels that we have involved are as follows. Aaron Patrick, the QuickBooks chat. Boffix Tax Tip. Finally, we have Apple Core Live and Geeky. All the links and everything are down below in the description. But it really mean a lot to us if you can go and give a like to the other channels as well.